Hello everybody, this is Mark and I'm here at the the location of the Tyler Village complex. Kind of a funky little conglomeration of buildings and uh, this is the location of Gotta Groove Records where the Charlie Peacock West Coast Diaries 2 album is going to be pressed. Um, we are looking at the front building for the complex. Um, behind this building there's another building. It's in the basement of that. I'll try and get a shot of that later. So uh, yeah, we're here. This is basically 36th and Superior in Cleveland. Um, kind of on the edge of Chinatown. There's a Korean restaurant, there's a Chinese place and uh, lots of Asian businesses. Another Asian grocery store and uh, restaurant over there. So, um, And as you can see, there's downtown there in the distance, about 20 blocks to the east. Sorry, 20 blocks to the west. And uh, so, here we go. All right, kind of a fun little area here. This is uh, Tyler Village which is formerly home of the Tyler Elevator Company. Big fan of these kind of catwalk things here, as you can see. Um, since it was, uh, since the closure of the Tyler Elevator Company, this complex has turned into a, um, a place for small businesses, but they really have reached out for artists and studios. So there's a lot of energy and creative space here um, a lot of exposed brick uh, scenic views of the city um, not so scenic from where I'm standing <clears throat> but uh, got a groove records is in the basement right over there uh, behind those uh, you know the, these are their <laughs> shipping doors there so but kind of a bohemian little place and yeah there's a little cafe over there which i had a nice cup of coffee called the bite b-y-t-e so anyway here we are let's go on in all right here it is let's see what happens all right i'm vince Luzars. i'm the president of god Good records uh, we founded the company back in 2009, pressed our first record at the end of August of 2009. We decided to get into this business in late 2008 when I saw uh, my own daughter buying records. I've always bought records myself, and I was curious, why are you buying records? She goes, well, if, if we buy something physical, my friends and I, it's a record. And that's interesting. So I. I had left a company that I've been working for for about 25 years and was looking to start a business. And I thought, geez, I love music, I love records, maybe that's something. And I looked at the uh, data, and from 2006 to 2008, records had started to creep back up again in terms of sales. I thought, well, I think that might continue. So the trick was finding presses. At the time, they didn't make new record presses, hadn't for years. So I was after some fits and starts, was able to find a plant in New Jersey that was going to close up and was willing to sell their assets. So I bought those in March of 2009 and moved them here to Cleveland. And it took us from March to August to get everything ready, the infrastructure. Um, this space place was essentially gutted, so we had to put in all the electrical gas lines, the oil, and all of that, and which is why it took us until the August. Uh, fortunately, the thought that record sales were going to continue back in 2008 uh, turned out to be true. Uh, they've gone up every year, year after year since 2006. Making a record that don't happen in our location, happen elsewhere. So, first is getting the lacquer cut. This is a lacquer, it's an aluminum disc coated with lacquer, very thin, sort of like nail polish. Uh, you couldn't do this step on line, the line would be too hard the process. Uh, uh, but you can tell this is a record. Want to play this one, it's all beat up. Uh, but when it comes out of the box, it shines a flat, goes for our lacquer cutter, he has a lathe, like a turntable on steroids, puts this on the turntable, 
feed that original audio signal to a cutting head, and the cutting head at this turns at the zero rhythm of the rear end of the side. So usually two slides to record, the two are back. Goes to a plating shop, it's clean, sprayed with silver colors, and eventually a metal one called a powder is made. And then an electroforming stamp of nickel. The nickel ions get attracted to it through the electrical current, build up a deposit, and you peel it off. This is called a stamp. So since it's a mirror image, that means these screws are raised. So a stamper sits on our bottom die, B stamper sits on the top. Those raised grooves make the indents of the grooves. Very cool. Let's do it. Uh, labels, most people leave labels that are glued onto a record. Actually, this will be pressed in. Can't get a label off. Pick up a little. Yeah, well, it's going to be tough. It's high on under. So, you can't get a label off a record if you try. Um, labels are made of paper and ink. They're dry when they get to us, but paper can reabsorb moisture in the air. And that happens, the heat of the press can release the ink, causing the sticks in there, causing crap records. So we have to bake labels in an oven for about 12 hours at a relatively low time to make sure they're nice and dry before we go ahead and do it. So this The record starts out its life as PVC compound. This is black compound, obviously. We'll go into one of these about every day and a half or two days. The different bags you see are all different colors, other than black. So we have like 25 different stock colors we work with, and you can put them together to make different shades. So we'll show you how a lettuce press This is a lettuce pressing machine. The back part of the machine is called a screwer. Pull the bottom on that hopper. There's a cedar band on that barrel. It's a the vinyl and there's a screw in the barrel that pushes that melt of vinyl into a pump. It's like a hockey pump. The label gets put on that and goes forward and press. It's pressed. Drop in the printer table. And then the edge gets trimmed off, which is going to happen here in a second on that one. And the metal drop on the trimmer table here. So front we'll see a see the metal. This record's about done. The record is going to come off on the trimmer table. So now you have a new biscuit with the label, the A side on the bottom and the B side on the top. Steam heat goes through the mold. You move and melt the vinyl while it's on the press. Now you can see the vinyl come out the side. This will switch to cold water from the mold. You need to have cold water go through the mold to stiffen it up to see the temperature drop in there. So once the cold water gets done pumping the mold again, we'll have another run. So about every 40 to 45 seconds.
Very serious is happening right now. Well, we spend uh, no, a lot of time on quality. Uh, we have quality personnel assigned to two press the sheet, four quality, so I'll take the So this is uh, Tim, who's our head of quality. He's not here. He'll probably be in here in a minute. Uh, he's checking the records as they come off the press. We physically examine every record, and we play bits and pieces of every 25th record. There's things can happen in the press you can't see with the naked eye. Our goal is to catch that here and not have that stuff get out to our customers. So we spend a lot of time and effort doing that. And this room is probably the most visually interesting in terms of just all the different color work we've done. Uh, over the years. I love it. So once the records come out of quality, this is a signal to the packaging that these records are all clear quality, ready to be packed. They're all identified by John. And then of course every job can be a little different than the next. You might just think it's a record in a jacket, but it may be doing the four different colors and maybe a gatefold jacket and it may have a poster, it may have an insert. Drink that in poly band. And then from there, uh, I'll start and getting ready to shift. Excellent. Oh, you can see how much uh, shipping out there. So this is all stage and we'll be yeah. stuff by trucks. Uh, Very cool. That's it. That was awesome. <laughs> I never uh, seen where the sausage got made before. Well, there you go. That's exactly it. So, uh, yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Well, thank you for uh, taking me on a tour of the shop. Sure. I kind of like the, uh, the digs here. I like the brick and the ducts. It's kind of fun. Nice. And uh, can't wait to hear what you do on uh, the Charlie Peacock record. Looking forward, to, looking forward to hearing it. All right, man. All the best. Thanks. All right. Thank you so much.